Today we're going to be breaking down how I made the Scandinavia beat. Let's go. So for this type of beat, I kind of wanted to use the synths to make it sound like retro, kind of like the old Nintendo games or like a Sega or something. Tell me that doesn't sound like Super Mario, bro. And I'm pretty sure for this preset, right, I literally just used the stock preset from Massive. So there, there is no preset, bro. So before you say, oh, which preset did you use? I didn't use a preset. It's just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. So yeah, I just used the stock preset and this is what we came up with. And for the effects, I also threw on a bit of Fruity Wave Shaper, plus some Luxiverb, and also Fruity Parametric EQ, just to boost the mid, and also get rid of a little bit of the sub, that's it. Then next, I opened up Massive a second time, and I used this preset here called Go To Clav. Yeah, 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 it's a pretty sick preset, actually. This is one of the... My secret rage presets that I use a lot. This one's actually pretty crazy. Because it just has like this this whiny texture. You know what I mean? It sounds like, I don't know, some strange animal in the wilderness. Huh? Alright, so when you play the two together, this is how they sound. Yeah. Then next I added a synth lead and to make the lead I used a preset from Nexus called Modern Luke and that is from this synth pack here. There it is, Modern Luke. And I also panned the lead a lot to the right. So again when you play those all together it sounds like this. And then for the drums, we have got a pretty simple drum pattern. Ooh. Our 808. And then when you put that all together, here's what we got. Ooh. 